Exhale, hands to heart, hold it here. Get your feet hip width apart. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you're not locking your knees. Draw the belly in towards the spine. As you inhale, lift up your rib cage. Feel the side of your waist lengthening. As you exhale, soften the top of your shoulder. And as you inhale again, lifting up the crown of your head to the sky. Get your heart rate even and regular and soft. Because remember when we're stretching, we want to soften our body, we want to relax, and we just want to move with our breath. Inhale, arms up again. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale. Exhale. And as you inhale, can you leave the shoulder down? Lift up your arms, exhale, hands down. This time, inhale, arms up. Hold it up here, bend your knees, hinging from your hips, come down to forward fold. Fingertips align with the top of your toes. Continue folding. Belly and chest come closer to your thighs. Crown of your head down to the floor with your neck soft. And your weight should be in the middle of your feet. Toes relax. Don't worry about straightening up your legs yet. Unless you're really warm and you're really flexible, you can do it right now. But I want you to hug your elbows and then kind of roll side to side. To swing gently side to side. Continue breathing it deep to the belly. Make sure your lower back still nice and supported. And you relax your head. All right, find a stillness in your rag doll. Can you turn your head, shake it? Look, no, no. And down, yes. Just gently. Just gonna move your move your neck, move your head just gently. Release your hands down to the floor and see if you can straighten up your legs. And then breathe and lift up your heart. And find a flat back. That's your half lift. You can also bring your hands to the shin or gently close to your knee, but not on your kneecap. Shoulder roll back. Breathe in, lift up your heart. Eye gaze to the floor in the front. Tailbone pointing out. Breathe, guys, long deep breath in. Remember, in a stretch, try not to force yourself, yeah? Just feel the edge of where you can push your muscles and then hold it there don't go beyond exhale release bend your knees again really sink down this time you know you're bending your knees right okay this time lift up your toes and slide your hands one at a time under your feet so and then move it so that your toes can touch your wrists and you can wiggle your toes, massaging the, um, your wrist, your palm. And breathe in. Can you lift up your belly again? Dropping the crown of your head down to the floor. You may or may not straighten up your, your legs fully. You can just stay bent, your knees, that's fine. 
This is just a more intense stretch for your glutes, the base of your legs where your hamstring begins. You can also stay on a half lift and gently slide your hands up one at a time. Inhale up, up lift, half lift, exhale, bend your knees, come down to a floor, sitting position. Ooh. All right, we'll start with a butterfly. So of your feet together, open up your knees to the side, your hands behind you. My right shoulder is really tight. Okay, breathe in. <clears throat> Lift up your heart. And just see if you can push your belly, the belly area forward. So you're pushing your hips forward. Neck is long, shoulders down. Get relaxed in your neck back. Just make sure you're not over cranking your head. You can stay here if you want a more intense stretch for your inner thighs. Then you're gonna find the side of your mat and open up wider and come forward. Breathe. Three, two, one. All right. Oi, bring your leg in. Come to a tabletop. Knees under your hips, hands under the shoulder. <laughs> All right, we're not doing a cat and cow. Tuck your toes behind. Good. And you bend your elbows towards the back and drop your chest down to the floor. Now I want you to inhale and slide your body forward, dropping your hip down and untuck it too. <laughs> inhale up to baby cobra. Exhale, release, tuck your toes and push your hips back up into down dog. All right, start walking the dog. So stretching the back of your legs. Really aim your heel, come closer to the floor. And stretching your calves. Dropping your belly down to the almost to the floor, lift up your heart, up dog, but keep your toes tucked. Exhale, push your hips back. Inhale, come forward again. Stay up, stay with the toes, drop the belly down, lift up your heart. Exhale, push back again. Inhale, come back again. Lift up your heart. Exhale, push back. Hold it here. Bring your feet together. Inhale, right leg up. Look forward, step the foot through between the hand. Drop the knees down and untuck your toes. This time I really want you to sink down in this crescent. If you can push your foot forward a little bit more. Sink lower in. Sink lower in your hips. Move your hands back. There we go. And you can wiggle your hips a little bit right here. Make sure you're tucking in your right glute towards your right heel. Can you breathe and look forward? 
usually I'm on my on my fingertips right here just to kind of lift up my chest okay you push your hip forward you feel the hip flexor stretch right here okay you relax your right leg because you have your right arm supporting your leg so that your knee is not gonna go outside so much and just feel the weight of your body gently pushing open your hips stretching the hip flexor Continue drawing in a navel towards your spine, protecting your lower back. All right, left palm flat on the floor. Breathe in, arms forward, right arm forward. Inhale, sweep this right arm to the side and back. Open up. Option, wrap your right arm behind your back. When you do this, either here or here, roll your, the right shoulder towards the back so you're opening up your heart to the side and up. And you sink a little bit lower in your hips. Left toes pointing back strongly, try not to sink over the foot. Move the hips back gently, gently, gently. Lift up the right toes with you. Okay. Bring your hands aligning under the shoulder. Curl the toes back. And can you drop your right hip down a little bit? Oh, hip flexor. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm straight. Great. can come down if you like. Oh my goodness, feel the hamstring. If not, just stay up high. Okay, everybody's different. Sometimes you're probably good right here and you stay up here. Uh. Oy. Are we gonna move between hamstring and hip flexor? So breathe and walk your body forwards. Lift up your heart, dropping your hips. Exhale, push back, walk your hands back gently, lift up the toes, straighten up your right leg. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, push back. There are like two packages. Okay. Inhale, come forward again. Breathe in, guys. Inhale, open up. Exhale, push back, and each time we move, see if you can push your fold, your stretch a little bit more. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale, come forward. We got three more times. Exhale, push back. Remember, see if you can go deeper into the stretch each time you move. Okay, this is number three. Let's go, push back. Inhale, number two. Exhale, push back. behind you. Push your hips back. Sit down on your, well, booty down towards your heels. Alright, inhale. 
Tuck the toes, push your hips back and up. Bring your feet together. Inhale, right leg up. Look forward, step the foot between the hand. Gently drop the right knee down, untuck your toes. All right, we're gonna sink it into this low crescent. I want you to breathe and draw the belly to the spine. And as you exhale, situate your hip down lower if you can. Normally in Anjani Asana, I'd like you guys to kind of keep this hip, um, this hip, this knee, like here, um, above your ankle and come up. But this time, you really want to stretch. So use your hand to semi-support your body so you're not really loading your hips with your, the weight. And just kind of pull your hips forwards and feel the stretch. Can you make sure the right toes pointing straight back? I'm just gonna move in this position and just find the opening. Sometimes in a stretch, it's a good idea not to force it, but to actually kind of go along with it, play with it, make a small movement, micro movement in your body to ease out your muscles. coming deeper into the left hip inhale right hip flexor exhale left hamstring 
Inhale, come up. Remember, right toes pointing back. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. I think this is the last one. Walk it forward, and this time move your hands inside the leg and bring this leg back. You can use your hand to assess if you like. All right, go down. Oh, actually, come up to a tabletop. Right arm open up. Exhale, slide it under the left. Walk your left hand forward. Can you push your hips to the right? And making sure you feel the hips above your knees. You should feel the stretch on the back of your shoulders. Keeping your hips high. Your option, of course, you can do half bind if you like. Push your chest up, release the right hand. I'm right, just gonna do a small rotation right here on the front body and the upper body. Couple to the right, couple to the left. All right. Left arm up and open. Inhale, exhale, slide it under. Walk your right hand forward and shift your hips to the left. your chest up. Oh. Alright, this time just move your hip sides to side. <laughs> I want you to curve your body actually. C-shape it to the left, C-shape it to the right. So your eye gaze also look behind you towards your hips. Don't strike your shoulder. Keep your shoulder behind. Uh. Alrighty. Whew. Tuck your toes. Bring your knees under your hips. And gently push yourself back and sit on your heels. If you are tight, you should feel the stretch, the arch of your feet. Breathe in. I'm hungry now. All right, hands down. I'm 
tuck your toes. All right, so this is an optional, guys. Bring your knees together, feet together. Now sit down. Um, some of you guys may or may not be able to do this. Sit down on your foot, hands behind. We're gonna stretch the top of our foot. All right, so lift up. Uh, elbows, so fingers towards the front. Elbows bend back. You can, so you can do what Andy does. He's like, he's doing this. This is actually stretching your quadricep. So if you continue doing this and see if you can come down lower, if you have a block, block and helps you too. Or you can lift up your knee and feel the stretch in the front right here. All right, not too long. Coming back. All right, bring your legs to the front, cross your legs, sit down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Release your hands out. Left arm out. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, side bend. Slide your arms away. Reach long with your right. Make sure your right sit goes stay down on the floor. Right hip stay down. Roll the right shoulder back. Exhale, can you rotate the torso forwards? Inhale. Exhale, reach long. Inhale. Exhale, hold it here, reach long. With your right hands, remember you want to reach far away, feeling the stretch coming from your hip all the way up to your rib cage. That will stretch your lower back right there. Deep breath in, long exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release the hands to the sides. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, slide your arms to the side, side bend. Remember, hip bones stay down, sit bones stay rooted. Roll the left shoulder back, inhale. Exhale, rotate the torso forward, reach long. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach long. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach long. Make sure your right shoulder is down away from your ears. Inhale, one more time. This time, as we exhale, reach long and hold. If you have a block, by the way, you can use the block on And just hold it here. That works for you guys? Okay, so if you have a block, use this as your semi-support. That will help you focusing on the stretch in the back right here. So you don't have to balance, so that's your option. Deep breath in. Exhale long. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I don't know about you. Every time I inhale and exhale, I feel more click opening on the left. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. All right. 
right. This time, as you inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Ooh. Inhale, arms up, both arms up. Hold it up here. Interlace your fingers. Turn your palms up to the sky. Oh, okay. Now, as you exhale, relax the shoulders down. Draw the belly into the spine. Hugging your rib cage. See if you can extend your arms behind your ear or just straight up to the sky. Exhale, release. to turn your body back forwards. Lengthen the spine and feeling the stretch right here. Oh, so good. All right, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, go to the right, left arm to the outside of your right knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist first, rotate. And then, ex inhale, and the next exhale, keeping your hand where they are, where they are, and just turn back to the front. Lengthening the body. So keeping your body nice and straight, arm nice and straight, you're rotating through the axis, feeling the stretch right here. Let the week begins. 